In this video, we are going to create an AI that learns to raise money the best way possible. But before we do that, we first need to give the AI a name. Why? Well, because pronouncing AI all the time is quite a challenge for me. AI, 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 you get the point. So, congratulations, you are now Tim. Okay. The way we are going to do this is by giving Tim a very simple objective. Raise as much money as you can by the end of each year. We are giving Tim two options. Earn money by working hard or gamble your way to success. Each day Tim has to choose between working or gambling. If he chooses to work then Tim earns $40 which is added to his savings. If he chooses to gamble, then Tim earns a whopping $100, if he wins that is. If he loses though, Tim has to pay $1000 back. His chances of winning and losing are 70% and 30% respectively. And of course, we are not going to explicitly tell Tim what he must choose. Instead, we are going to let him learn by himself, using machine learning, what choices are better in order to save more money each year. If he chooses to simply work each day, for example, then the maximum amount he can save each year is around $15,000. If he chooses to gamble every day, then he can save anything between minus $365,000 and about $37,000. Is it worth the risk? I don't know. We will find out very soon. So having said that, I'm very curious to see which approach Tim is going to take and what the outcome is going to be. So let's go through the environment setup really quick. Tim over here, who is really a recursive neural network, is going to be choosing between working and gambling each day. If he earns money, then we give him a reward, which lets him know that he is doing good. If he loses money, then we give him a penalty. We've also given Tim a memory so that he can remember a few of his past choices. By the end of each year, we will be reviewing how much money Tim managed to raise and we will be adding that amount to his total savings. We'll also record the maximum amount Tim has raised in his best year so far. If the outcome is positive, Tim will be doing his little cute dance. If the outcome is negative on the other hand, Tim falls down and has a mini heart attack. So look out for his behavior during the training of the neural network. Finally, we'll keep track of the money Tim makes each year as well as his choices throughout the year. We will let Tim train for about 270 years, because as everybody knows, that's how long AI entities live. So let's see what happens when we leave Tim alone to train. Okay, before we let him train even further, we can see that by the second year, that Tim has already lost quite a lot of money. His choices for year 2 are almost evenly distributed between gambling days and working days. So far, Tim hasn't learned anything, so let us leave him train for a little longer this time. Let's pause for a minute, as you can see Tim is now in his 30s, so it's only natural that he's beginning to learn how to raise money more efficiently. During his best year, he managed to raise $11,000. Throughout year 30, Tim chose to spend 45 days gambling and 320 days working his butt off. Tim is still unstable and he's still struggling to pay off his college debt. So let's let him train for a few more decades and see what happens. Okay, stop. Well, 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 look who's just became a millionaire. Tim is now well in his hundreds, although he's more mature, he still likes to have a little bit of fun. That's why he chooses to spend almost two weeks each year straight up gambling. Okay, let's continue then. <laughs>
year is 266. Our neural network, <coughs> I mean Tim, is now fully trained. Being towards the end of his life, Tim is now a lot wiser. Not only does he have a stable income each year, he is now a multi-millionaire. As you can see, Tim only gambles once or twice a year, and probably during New Year's Eve. The results show us that initially our AI chose to risk more, but eventually it went for the safest option of earning money. I'm curious to see if we can change Tim's behavior by introducing additional incentives. We can do that by giving Tim extra rewards each time he passes a specific money-related milestone. Will he take more risks? Will he earn money faster? Will he save more money? I have a lot of questions that need answering. So let's do this. Oh, look who's back from the dead. Are you ready to train, fellow? No? Don't care, let's go. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Okay, let's pause for a minute. Tim is now in his 30s again. It's safe to say that things are a little bit different than before. Tim has a massive massive debt, he still hasn't managed to earn a positive income. It's obvious that he hasn't learned anything yet, so let us leave him train for a few hundred years. We are back in year 266. This time, Tim managed to save money and become a millionaire as well. During his second lifetime, Tim took a lot more risks, which as it seems, kept him from saving a lot of money. Because I wanted to be sure for our findings, I decided to let both hardworking and risky Tim train for a lot longer. Here's what happened. <laughs> As you can see, our results have been validated from both 500 year olds. Risky Team saves a lot less money than hardworking Team. So there you have it. The best approach to earn and save money according to our artificial intelligence entity is to party while you are young and begin saving around your 30s. This small project was really fun and I plan to make similar ones with more complicated environments. If you have any questions that could be answered using AI, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Um, okay, bye.